This whole world is dependent on three things. Tools, techniques, technologies. And if we know how to use the tools, techniques and technologies in a particular workflow, in a particular sequence, then we have success. So welcome everybody. Today we are going to learn top 10 bioinformatics techniques and tools which is used for our success in biotech experiments. Now, number one among this will be sequence alignment. Now, what do we do here? We align sequences to identify regions of DNA which has similarity that may indicate functional, structural or evolutionary relationship. Now, what are the tools we will use for uh, sequence alignment? We will use BLAST, we will use Cluster W and we will use MAFFT. Now, second technique which you should learn is gene expression analysis. Now, what do we do here? We analyze the gene expression data to understand gene function and regulation. So it's like, suppose there is a big building and we have to find out which particular, and some lights are on in that building and some are off, right? So by just looking at it, we can say, okay, these are the lights which are off. These are the lights which are on. So this is like a gene has got expressed and gene which has not got expressed. So that is what we can learn here. And we use tools like RNA sequence, microarrays, DSEC and edge are to do that. Number three, that is genome assembly. Now, what do we do here? We will assemble short DNA sequences into longer continuous sequences and reconstruct the genome. And we will use spades, velvet and kanu to do that. Now, this is one amazing technique which you all should learn. The third one is variant calling and annotation. Now, we use variant calling and annotation to identify and annotate genetic variants in a genome. And we'll be using tools like GATK, SAMTools, and ANOVAR to achieve variant calling and annotation. Now, the fifth one which we have is protein structure prediction. Now, this technique is very important and it's very important for every biotechnologist to know. And we'll be using techniques like AlphaFold, Swiss model, and Tazer to predict the three-dimensional dim structure of proteins from their amino acid sequences. Now, the sixth one, sixth technique which you should know is phylogenetic analysis. Now, in this, we will be inferring the evolutionary relationship between species or genes. Now, we will be using tools like Mega, RAX, ML or Phymel to achieve phylogenetic analysis. The seventh one and the most important one is metagenomic analysis. Now, in metagenomic analysis, we'll be analyzing the genetic material recovered directly from the environmental samples. And we'll be using tools like Kime, uh, Metafel, and, and Kraken. Now, the eighth technique which you should learn is, of course, most important one, molecular docking. Now, under this, you'll be predicting the interaction between a molecule, for example, drug and a protein target. We'll be using Autodoc, Vena and Doc for molecular docking. I'm sure you must be knowing that. The next one which we have is called as Pathway and Network Analysis. We will be understanding the complex interactions techniques to predict the biological outcomes and interpret complex data sets. Now, what are the tools we'll be using here? We'll be using Scikit-Learn. We'll be using Keg, Reactome and Cyto. Escape. Now, followed by that, the 10th one will be obviously machine learning in bioinformatics. Now, this is very exciting where we'll use, we'll apply machine learning techniques to predict the biological outcomes and inter interpret complex data sets. Now, we will be using tools like SkyKit, Learn, TensorFlow, Keras and Weka to achieve machine learning in bioinformatics. So, so far, I told you uh, more than 20 plus tools and top 10 techniques which every bioinformatician must learn if you want to master bioinformatics. Now, if you want to learn all of this, if you want to know more about bioinformatics, then of course you can join our Bioinformatics Summer Internship where you can get global tools and techniques and all the open source tools and learn about them. You can practice them, you can experiment on them, you can do projects on them, you can do hands-on on that and you can uh, publish papers along with Biotechnica scientists. More details about that is given in the description. So I'll see you soon as an informed bioinformatician uh, expert in bioinformatics. Until then, please take care. Bye-bye.